A month ago, I posted a video hunting for a new sketchbook. I asked you guys if you would want to see a sketchbook tour. And for those of you that said yes, this video is for you. Every single sketchbook tour video, either the person's sketchbook is a masterpiece, like an absolute masterpiece, or they claim that it's not a masterpiece and they say that they use their sketchbook to do all sorts of things and that it's really messy. And then they walk you through it and the whole time you feel kind of bad about whatever it is that you do with your sketchbook because their sketchbook isn't messy and they're not using it to do ideas. They're actually treating it like a masterpiece and pretending like it isn't. I'm here to tell you that my sketchbooks are neither one of those. They are not masterpieces. And when I say that they are messes and that I use them to develop ideas, I mean that and you're gonna see that. The whole concept of doing this vo video is pretty vulnerable for me because there's some ugly stuff in these sketchbooks, okay? Downright ugly, embarrassing for me to say that I'm the one that did that. But I feel like it's valuable because every time I see a sketchbook tour video, I always feel bad about myself afterwards. I feel like I'm not a good enough artist, that I haven't worked hard, that my creativity isn't good. And that's just not the case. I think these artists are working their ideas out in some way, they're just not showing it in these sketchbook tour videos. And maybe they don't work their ideas out in a sketchbook, that's fine, I don't care. But I don't like the feeling and I don't want you, if you're someone who has an art practice or is just doing it for fun and you're using a sketchbook, I don't want you to walk away from this video feeling like if you make a mistake or if your sketchbook is messy or if you scribble on some of the pages, it's not a valuable practice because it still is and you're gonna see that so with that disclaimer in mind let's do this okay so this was my very first sketchbook ever um not ever that's a lie i've had a lot of sketchbooks i got this along with my very first set of winsor and newton cotman watercolors the like compact set so here's me swatching the colors Memorial Day 2018, you guys. Stunning. This is what I'm talking about, okay? This is vulnerable for me. There's some trash in here. Trash, trash. Ooh, this was a little watercolor I did of the day that my friend and I took our graduation pictures. We took them up in the mountains by this lake that's close to where I grew up. Ooh, my first attempt at travel sketchbooking for my graduation. My cousin and I got to go to Phoenix and stay at this resort. And I know what you're thinking, Phoenix, who cares? I did, okay? I was 18 years old and I thought it was incredible. I remember very vividly, this was my first time ever going to a quote unquote bar, okay? It was a virgin drink, obviously. I don't remember what it was, but based on my drawing, it kind of looks like a mojito. Day two. Yeah, the, this little travel spread is super fun for me because it helps me remember exactly what happened on that trip. Um, I think that's what a great travel sketchbook does. So yes, I remember I really loved Scottsdale. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. Corey, if you're watching this video, these spreads should unlock some insane memories for you. I remember this vividly. I was really proud of how this watercolor was going and then I messed it up, got so mad and abandoned it, which is a common theme for me in my sketchbook. If I'm not liking an idea, if I'm frustrated with something, I will be abandoning it. Um, nonsense, nonsense. Not sure what happened here. No idea why the whites of her eye are green. This looks like an attempt. Oh yeah, San Diego an attempt of a travel sketchbook page, but I must have run out of time. I, I don't know what happened here. Ooh, Colton and Auntie. What? Evil Peter Pan. This is what I'm talking about, okay? Sketchbooks are nonsense. And if you don't treat your sketchbook this way, that's fine. I don't think there is a one size fits all for sketchbooks, but for me, 
it's nonsense, as you can see. Half a drawing of my childhood dog. Why did I draw this off the page? I bet you I thought I was cool. Um, looking at this now, why? Oh, this was the school that I went to had this like really cool historic building that most of the classes were held in. This is a really unfinished bad drawing of it. This is a drawing of a piece of a cinnamon roll at our favorite coffee shop, Lavender and Honey. Nothing comes close to this place. I love this coffee shop with everything in me and part of it is nostalgia, okay? But I still love it with everything in me. Clearly, I was feeling overwhelmed. I use sketchbooks to process emotions and this is me processing a feeling, obviously. This guy, I want to talk about this. This is one of the first sketch sketchbook pages I remember being very proud of. Looking at it now, it looks really simple and elementary, but I remember doing this and thinking, wow, I did that. Another painting of lavender and honey. Hate, 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 loathe entirely. Name that movie. Um, more poetry, doodling. Ooh, okay, and then the last part of the sketchbook, for Christmas I got a set of alcohol-based brush pens, or no, water-based brush pens, which was my first experience with something like that. So this is me, just kind of, oh yeah, Artesia real brush pens. Yeah, so that's my very first real sketchbook. This is my next one, Ditch the Spiral. My favorite movie of all time is Cinderella. More just doodling, nothing super serious. This is all early 2019, I think, when I kind of was first toying with the idea of taking a sketchbook seriously. I love, love this one. Probably one of my favorite sketchbook pieces of all time. Ooh, okay, this is a good sketchbook spread. So spring of 2019, I left a school that I had originally went to and I was going to a community college in Pasadena. And at that time I was commuting to Pasadena. There was one time I was driving on the freeway and there were like some Caltrans workers that were like working on the side of the freeway, like on the shoulder doing some things, whatever. The Caltrans workers were like moving leaves around and these moths were just coming out of nowhere. It was like they had all been birthed on the side of the freeway and it felt so magical. I, in my mind, they were super colorful like this, but I'm pretty sure they were all like a golden brown color, but yeah. This is a fun one. I think this is me experimenting a little bit more with being intentional in my sketchbook as opposed to just drawing nonsense. This is a sketch that I did of a concert that I went to. Okay, this is for a project that someone I knew at the time wanted to write a children's book and they wanted me to illustrate it. The whole project was like kind of done backwards, but I was so excited about it. I was so interested in the idea of doing this that I was just like, I don't care, I'm just gonna do it. So this is me really working out ideas and you're gonna see more of this. Again, trying to be more intentional. Okay, so this is me working out that children's illustration. I was drawing some kind of baby. I don't know why I was using a charcoal pencil. That is a little bit of a nightmare. This is terrifying. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. I'm showing you guys this on the internet. I want you to see this terrifying drawing of a baby. Um, Pocahontas, nonsense. More absolutely terrifying drawings of babies. More nonsense. Okay, this was me working on a college assignment of what home is. So me working through a whole bunch of ideas. My brother growing up was in a band and a couple times I did album art for them. This is one of the times we were like working out an idea for the album art. The final album art ended up just being a photo, so I didn't actually make art for it, but the photo does look like these sketches, so we took some things from it, and this is me working on 
home stuff again. Home is when we are together. Cute, cute, cute. Um, ooh, this is a little location sketch of a Starbucks that I went to often doing school. Ooh, and here I am again working on some album artwork for my brother's band. I think I ended up making this in Photoshop, maybe? It did end up looking kind of like this, with tweaks. Some first iterations of what my current art style looks like, which is kind of fun to see. This is a colored pencil drawing of Zoe Deschanel. This was my first ever African violet. This thing grew to be huge. And when we moved up here to central California, it did not survive, which is so sad. Okay, and then I think the last few pages of this I never ended up finishing, which is another thing that I try not to do. I try not to skip out on sketchbook pages just because I'm excited to keep going. Okay, at this point, we're gonna break for this sketchbook. This is what I want to call my travel sketchbook, but I ended up breaking that rule and I put some other things in there that are not travel related, but majority of it is travel related when I went on camping trips and stuff like that. So these are from Mammoth Lakes. Again, this is very reminiscent of my current style. I did this in August of 2021, which I think is just so interesting to see. Another one of Mammoth Lakes some little pieces and stuff maybe with lakes that's crazy august of 2021 this is a painting of a stellar j which currently right now i am in the middle of peachtober and one of my characters that i've been painting in a lot of the peachtober pieces is a stellar j lots of little like nature studies Again, I think this is also Mammoth Lake. This is an unfinished painting of Half Dome that I did on site up at Glacier Point. Okay, so this is where things kind of started to fall apart in the travel sense. This is not a travel sketch. This is just a drawing that I did. I remember this really clearly. I did this drawing when I hadn't been drawing in a while. And sometimes when I fall out of my practice, I feel like I can't draw anymore. Like, I feel like I've lost my skill. Like, you haven't ridden a bike in years and you think maybe I don't know how to ride a bike anymore. And sometimes it really helps to just like jump in and do something. Um, and it always surprises me what it ends up turning out like in the end. Cause this, looking at this right now, this is incredible. It's hard for me to believe that I drew this, but I remember distinctly, I was doing this because I had fallen out of practice and I felt like I couldn't do art anymore. This is another Mammoth Lake one. I've been to Mammoth a lot of times. <laughs> this is a drawing of one of the roses from my engagement. Okay, some more just like random sketches. This is from when I went to the Getty. I have an entire YouTube video about this sketchbook spread. So if you wanna see this being created, you can go watch that video. It's one of my very first videos. Another travel landscape. I don't know where this is. Oh, I think this is in Lake Tahoe. Potentially. Unfinished. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, this is a spread that I did at our campsite in Lake Tahoe this past year. We went camping there for 4th of July. So kind of a travel sketchbook spread. Um, yeah, so a couple more pages in here for some other camping trips that we take. Okay. This ugly Kansan sketchbook. I don't even know if you can call this a sketchbook. It's more like just a pad of paper, but anyways. Uh, this was when I wanted to practice my anatomy more. I don't draw people very often. I don't know if you can tell. I draw eyes, but that's kind of it. Um, so yeah, that is what this is. Me practicing my human drawings. Some more, but just an ink, some shapes, an ring. I really wanted this like expensive hand crocheted cardigan, and I really wanted these 
Winter Solstice Nike Dunks. I still to this day love these shoes. I think they're so cool. But I was like, I have no business spending this kind of money and I'm not gonna buy these things. So instead of buying them, I drew them, which I think is a great idea. Okay, this is from a video that never came to light. I asked some friends on Instagram to tell me random things I should draw from memory. And I think I had maybe five minutes to draw each one. And then I rated them for how well I did. Yeah. Whole video that I filmed and never came to light and is on the hard drive that, you know, died. It's gone forever. So we will never see that video drawing of my breakfast. This is when I was trying to decide my own personal brand for my art. I wanted, I couldn't decide if I wanted it to just be my name or if I wanted to go with this cute idea, which history is made. You guys obviously know I went with Made by Toast. Aw, here's a cute little drawing of Corduroy when he was 12 weeks old. Something unfinished. This is me planning for my California painting, which was like a big painted illustrated map of California with cool significant locations. Me trying to decide what the locations are slash what the item should be. This is me figuring out if I have them dispersed enough on the map, if I want to fill more holes with other locations. This was me planning for Peachtober last year. I feel like I had a lot of really great ideas for Peachtober last year, just wasn't able to do it. It just didn't work. I had two trips in October, was not in the cards, but cute ideas. Favorite things to draw. Okay, this is from January of this year, 2024. And I think this is when my sketchbook practice actually clicked for me. Like it actually started to make sense to where I understood what I use my sketchbook for and why it's so important to me. And I think you can kind of see it in how these go. A little bit of a vulnerable drawing. Is there a place for me? Am I capable? Am I good enough to sit at the table? A little bit of imposter syndrome and trying to understand if I can make it as an artist honestly and the last page in this is a random drawing I did while watching Legally Blonde so again sometimes it's super serious me drawing how I feel about whether or not I can make it as an artist or me drawing Legally Blonde Sketchbooks are not that deep, okay? They're meant to be messy, they're meant to be crazy. I think they're meant to be ugly, if I'm being honest. Again, me trying out this idea of creating a character, Sammy, fun, cute, things I'm excited for. Our first Merry Christmas. PSL season, always excited for that. Um, this is me again doing that. This weird long dog. I have a whole YouTube video about this page. I love this one. Honestly, I should turn this guy into a sticker. He's really cute. March 19th, 2024. So this is a sketchbook spread I did right before we moved, which is crazy. And this, is when we moved. So this was Easter Sunday of this year. A lot of these I've posted on Instagram. So if you follow me there, they're gonna look really familiar. But, oh, and here is me planning for a boots painting that I did. I had a little video for that painting. It also got lost in the great hard drive death of 2024. This is a drawing of where we live now in Santa Cruz with some just random things. Oranges. Again, sketchbooks are not that serious. Phone calls with family, meaning I was talking to my family, doodling this. And I think this is a great use of a sketchbook, honestly. Even if it doesn't turn into an idea or if it's not something pretty you're gonna post on Instagram, 
this is a good use. I think this is how your creativity grows and develops. This is another YouTube video spread. So you can go back and watch this video. It's called Sketching at Mount Hermon. And I walked around and did all these sketches. That looks like corduroy casualty right there. Maybe a little sniffing. And this is a spread that I did at a coffee shop when I was feeling very purple, obviously. So these are things that I felt were familiar for me. Moving has definitely been difficult for me. It's been challenging leaving my home behind. This is a sweet page. I honestly forgot I even did this. So that's a really sweet page. Ooh, this was me developing an idea for a sticker that I did create, but ended up hating. So you've never seen it before. Um, I do still love the idea, so maybe I'll come back to it. Um, but I really, it's just anyone can create with like all sorts of creative things surrounding it. Trying to develop corduroy into a character. Ick, ick. Um, so yeah, that this sketchbook I finished about a month ago, I'd say, because I just bought a new sketchbook. Those are my sketchbooks that I have filled so far in my life. Five sketchbooks in about six years. My pace has picked up a lot. So the next sketchbook that I finish, I will film a video for you guys if that's what you want. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.